Hey there guys, it's the Nut Case, Casey Nicole, and I'm back again with the shenanigans, baby. Hey Sagittarius, how are y'all doing today? Happy Friday, Saggy, Sage. Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. If you are already subscribed to my channel, I would like to say thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you've given me. Uh, when when I got my first um, tarot sign readings, Sagittarius, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, whatever you may have done to help support my channel. It means so much to me, guys. And I just thank you for stopping by again. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that like button. You already know. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it's some listen the thunder said go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button now okay and guys keep in mind i am a fairly new tarot reader but i do have a lot of intuition for situations so um i would just ask that you guys bear with me as i am learning i may have to look up the definitions for some of the cards just so i can give you the most clear advice possible i don't want to um, steer you wrong not one bit so just bear with me as i'm learning and i really appreciate your patience okay remember these messages are general guys and they may not fit everyone's situation so please do not force anything on your situation guys a lot of people say if it don't fit don't force it but i like to say go with what you know <laughs> okay because that's all you can do you can only go with what you know you can't go with anything else but what you know okay so be sure to like be sure to share the video with someone who you feel like may need to hear it or you know subscribe to the channel so you can be caught up on all my shenanigans okay this is your tgif message yay happy friday guys okay and at the end of the video oh i almost forgot at the end of the video my oracle cards haven't come because shipping fucking sucks okay i don't give a fun up about no damn COVID. I want my Oracle cards. So I can give y'all Oracle messages. Because I got some good Oracle cards coming y'all. Okay. I got some good Oracle cards coming. I just really can't wait to just play in them cards. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So at the end just to jazz it up a little bit. Since I'm waiting on that shit. I'm going to go ahead and pull. I got 30 yeses and 30 noes in this bag. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a yes or a no answer. So y'all think about your answer. Think about your questions. Ooh. It's been a long day, y'all. Sagittarius, I love y'all. Y'all are so patient, okay? Y'all are so patient. You have a sense of humor. And you're just great people all around, right? Good people. So get your questions ready. And without further ado, Sagittarius, let's get to you. All right? All right. G I F. All right, guardian angels, please give me two cards for the main energy surrounding my Sagittarius. Please give me two cards for the main energy surrounding my Sagittarius. Oh no, four of swords. Why are y'all in the four of swords energy? Who the fuck done messed with you? Sag, don't let me have to come up that, down there with my nine. Oh, oh, Sag. Ooh, Sag. Mm. What's going on, babies? What's going on? Because I got Sagittarius in my chart. Mm. Has someone hurt you? Has someone taken your kindness and your emotions and your love and just dumped it out onto the fucking ground? Sagittarius, I really... Listen, if this is the case, because with the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups, these are both cards of depression. They're both cards of regret for a loss, right? Wow. Okay, so look. The Page of Cups is at the bottom. So I feel like your love that you tried to give someone um may not have been returned back to you right 
I feel like they may have taken your love for granted. Wow, the nine of wands was at the top. They took your love for granted and you became defensive. Right? You had your defenses up. You had a lot of passion for this person. And obviously, you love this person. You know, you've been through your share, your fair share of pain and hurt in the past, Sagittarius. I understand. And you don't want nobody fooling with you. But you tried to offer genuine love. It might not have been a whole lot because you were being cautious as you fucking should. But you still offered genuine love and emotion for this person. And all they did was keep you on the defense. All they did was stress you the fuck out until you had to walk away. I think you walked away from this person. It feels like you have your back turned to this person. Her, we can't see her face. Her back turned to us. She ain't even paying us no attention. You ain't paying this person no attention. You probably cut this person off cold. Okay? Because they did not reciprocate your love. That's how I feel. They just dumped your little fucking... They just dumped your cups out on the floor like they were some damn red Solo cups. No, sir. These are champagne glasses. <laughs> you better tell them, Sagittarius. Fuck them. You better tell them. They got you all in this depressive-ass energy surrounding you. I just feel like you're uncertain right now. I feel like whoever this is really made you feel uncertain of yourself and not, you know, you don't trust yourself anymore. I feel like this is the energy they gave you to where you just had to kind of walk away and recuperate. The form swords is a card like, okay, in the Rider, Rider White, Rider White, whatever the fuck, it's in the link, is in my description box, okay? It's too late for all this shit. In that deck, it's like a person laying on their tomb or whatever. The meaning originally, it's like old imagery, but the meaning is like pretty much when the soldiers back in medieval times actually did come back from battle, they had to rest or whatever because they, they didn't think they were coming back, so they rested like on their tombs or something crazy. Fuck, I don't know. But yeah, pretty much you're resting. You're in a state of rest right now because whatever the situation is has got you feeling anxious and depressed. It's got you feeling like you've lost. You could feel like you've broken up with this person. Maybe you did break up with this person because they were just stressing you out way too fucking much. Okay? Okay, give me... Ooh, the cards are trying to fall out. Mm -mm, don't you do it. Let me ask my question, Guardians. Hold on. Be patient with me. The Sagittarius are being patient with me learning. I need y'all to be patient with me too. <laughs> okay, give me two cards. For Man, y'all, listen. Whatever the fuck is going on, it just wants to be known. Mm. I was going to ask how you feel about this situation. Ooh, it looks like the Knight of Swords. It looks like you want to go tell this person how you feel. Give me one more card, Guardian Angels, please. Give me one more card to describe Sagittarius' main energy. Mm, Cause you got your shit together. Maybe this person, maybe you. Hold on, it's a lot of shit going on in my head. I gotta get my thoughts together. Okay, Sagittarius, this is what I feel like. This person had you in a lot of fucking turmoil, stress. You had to take a rest from this person. You might have broke it off with this person, but you still regret that decision. And you may want to come in with communication. You may want to come in with clear, truthful communication. And you re really, I feel like, expect that clear communication back from this person because you know your worth, right? You got the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Swords, right? You know your worth in this situation, but it's like, I feel like you may be tired of trying to fight for this situation because you feel like you have not had your love reciprocated, right? Wow. Okay, so that that's 
Because, listen, this is at the bottom. The Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom. Ooh, and the Five of Wands. Because it was too much drama. It was too much drama with this person. Because you know your worth. You know what you got. You have a lot of emotion. You have a lot of love to give. And it's just like a it's just like a dude who try to talk to a female and say, Hey, come here, girl. No, nigga. I'm not finna get up. You get up and come over here. Because I know what I'm worth. That's how I feel like you feel in Sagittarius. Or it could be that this situation has taken a lot of, out of you. Like I said, you cut this person off from communicating with you. You are not communicating with them any longer, right? Because you feel depressed. And they, now that you cut them off, could be coming towards you, rushing in like this knight of swords to communicate clearly, finally with you after you done dropped their ass like a damn bad habit. You drop their ass like a bad habit and now here they come wanting to be truthful and shit. Maybe they want to offer some stability to you. Maybe they want to actually give you a solid offer now that they realize that you ain't playing no games. Right? Now that they realize your worth, maybe Sagittarius, they want to offer you something solid and they're not, you know, because they know they brought drama to your life. So they may want to communicate clearly with you to explain the situation, you know, and you might have a few choice words for that motherfucker. You might. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you might have some choice words for that bastard because they played with you. They toyed with you like your forehead said towards our us. And they ain't even in business no more. Okay? This ain't no damn towards or us. Don't play with me, nigga. Play with your kids, okay? Sorry. I need to stop cussing. No, I don't. Because that's what I'm going to do. Um, But yeah. That's what I feel like. I feel like you dropped this person like a bad habit. And now they want to come to talk to you. They want to be truthful now. They want to. But, but let's, uh, you know. And, and you might want to cuss them out now, okay? All right. I just want to clarify because y'all bear with me as I'm learning. If you have not already liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be caught up on all my shenanigans. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Guardian angels, please clarify this not a swords. Why is this not a swords here? What is this communication? Give me one card to clarify this not a swords. Maybe they want to communicate with you about how they were not giving to you. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is a stingy motherfucker in my eyes. Four of Pentacles is like someone who's trying to hold on to whatever they got. Maybe they're trying to hold on to their freedom. Hell, give me one more card to clarify the Knight of Swords. Please give me one more card, Guardian Angels, to clarify. Judgment. I feel like they might want a second chance, y'all. They want to communicate with you about how they were not being very giving and about the fact that they want a second chance. Wow. Or, or if you're the one who's trying to communicate with them, you're going to let them know strongly with this Knight of Swords because this is sharp communication. You're going to let them know strongly that you know your worth and you will not be fucked with. You're taking your coins and you're bouncing on them. Judgment is a card of like completion. It's like you're you're done. Either they want to com communicate with you because they want to reconcile. Oh, wow. And the Eight of Pentacles was at the... So the Eight of Pentacles was like this, right? Maybe they know how hard you work. Maybe they know the kind of work ethic that you have, the type of person that you are. Hardworking, dedicated. And they want a second chance with you because they know they fucked up. They know they fucked up. And now they see your worth. Right? What's at the bottom? Ooh, the moon. 
All right, Sagittarius, so my personal advice is that you just need to be mindful of this moon card, which means that it's nighttime, there's uncertainty, and there may be two people involved in the situation, and you're not sure. You're not sure about what you want to do, or there may be uncertainty, not even two people. It may be uncertainty about this person because they have not been truthful with you in the past, and they had you in this stressed out as energy where you feel like your love was being wasted. You get what I'm saying? So I would definitely, definitely just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Keep that in mind. I'm not saying judge this person so harshly that, you know, because if you really care about this person, I, I feel like you wouldn't be feeling depressed. You wouldn't be feeling anxious or tired or down if you did not care about this person. But at the same time, I really think that you need to be cautious when you go into whatever conversation. Because this is communication. This Knight of Swords is communication. So somebody want to communicate, either you or them. But I just think that when you go into this situation of communication, you need to be mindful of that move card. Be mindful of the things that were hidden from you before. Wow. Guardian angels, thank you, guardians. Please give me one card to clarify the four of swords. Why is Sagittarius feeling tired from this situation? Damn. 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 Damn, damn, damn. Okay. <laughs> wow. The three of fucking swords. You feeling tired because they had you in a fucking third party situation. They broke your damn heart. They broke your damn heart because they weren't clear with their communication. And they probably were communicating with other fucking people. Wow. Wow, y'all. And it just flipped off the bottom of the deck. The three of fucking cups. Okay. So this person may have had you in third party. We'll see what's at the top, y'all. Wow, and it kept you in your head. This person, mm, 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 I know. Ooh, Sagittarius. I feel like this person was on some bald head whole shit, Sagittarius. That made you be in your head, trying to mentally. Ooh, the card and the card almost burned. Maybe they almost. Ooh, was they? Was they? Was they having intercourse without protection? Did they almost burn you? But you were smarter than that? And you walked away in time? Oop! The card almost fell in the fire. Y'all saw that. They trying to mentally... They, they were using these manipulative techniques. I feel like because the moon card did come up and that is somebody who's having secrets. They were secretive with you, which kept you in this eight of swords energy where you felt like mentally you were trapped because they were probably breaking your heart, finagling and philandering with all these other people. Dang. Sag, I, listen, I understand. And, and I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm going to just be honest. Even if they do try to come back with this offer... I really think you guys just need to be mindful of that moon card. Be mindful of, I'm not saying, listen, look, like I said, I'm not saying judge this person. I'm saying hear them out, receive this communication, but remember your worth. Know your fucking worth. Can't nobody take that from you. Can't nobody take your worth from you. If you have self-love and, and, you, and you value your own self, you you won't go looking for that in somebody else and and their bullshit will not affect you. Mm. Oh, guardians, please give me guardian angels, please give me one card for the main TGIF advice for my Sagittarius. What is the main card for my Sagittarius? What's their advice for this weekend? Mm, another sword. I saw it already. The Ten of Swords. You got the release. You got the release. That's what that's saying. You got to release this Ten of Swords energy. You got to let that go, Sagittarius, okay? 
Give me one more card. I feel like I want one more card. Please, guardian angels, give me one more card for the advice from my Sagittarius. Manifest what you want. Damn. That's self-explanatory. Get out of this Ten of Swords energy. Manifest what the fuck you want. Manifest what you deserve. Because you are the Nine of Cups. You are abundant. You have things in order in your fucking life. All these cards are in order up here. You see that? All these cards are lined up in order. And she's just chilling. So you need to remember the power that you have and manifest what you want out of your life and get, listen, get the fuck out of this Ten of Swords energy. Get out of your head, okay? Because whatever is meant to be will be. Ooh, and look what's at the bottom. Hold on, y'all. I hate when the table be messy. Maybe I got OCD. I need to release control. <laughs> Look what's at the bottom. The death card. You ready to end this. But mentally it's like you can't end it. Because you feel like you were cheated. You feel like you were cheated. And it's like that's what's depressing you. That's what's making you tired. Because this person broke your heart. And I feel like now they do want to come back. And have a second chance with you. Because they realize who the fuck you are. You're the magician. You're manifesting things in your life. To keep your life in order. And they want a piece of that. So just be careful, guys, okay? That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say manifest what you want. Get rid of what you don't. That's your advice for this weekend. All right, y'all. It's time for the yes or no questions. Y'all got your questions ready? Y'all got them ready? Okay. Tell me when you're ready. My eyes are closed, guys. I know you can't see my eyes, but they are closed. I'm just finagling my fingers through the bag. Y'all got them ready? Okay, I'm about to pick it. Get your question. Ooh, it is. Yes. You see? The answer to your question is yes. All right, guys. Sagittarius, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for bearing with me. I hope this message helps you this weekend. This has been your TGIF message. Guys, Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button and turn on post notifications so you can be caught up on all my shenanigans, boo. Remember, stick to the positivity today. Remember to be blessed and let no one steal your joy. Okay, guys, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.